This is uh, the 117 section, four miles north of Baird, Texas. I looked at historical uh, data and mapping, and I picked this well location from, from stuff that was dated 1956. Um, this well, it turned out to be a canyon sand well or canyon lime well. The formation, the top of it was 2798. The bottom part of that formation was 2818. That's what we produced from. This well came in at 30 barrels a day. In 2001, uh, it was completed in uh, January of 2002. And this is the well right here. This, this well was stopped at 3,000 feet deep. The, the large separator behind you is the separator for this well. This of course runs off electricity. There's your power box and there's your electric motor. And uh, this is what it is. It's the 117.1. It's the first well drilled in this area on this location. And like I say, the date was October of 2001 when the location was graded smooth, the rig brought in. There was earth and mud pits out here that are now been closed in. And all your environmental rigs were followed to the letter. This area right here is your wellhead. And this is your polish rod. When this pump jack moves, it, it brings fluid up a stroke at a time of about six feet. And then in a certain amount of time, certain amount of pumps on the pump jack, then you have fluid to surface. Then it goes down a, a hose back around to the separator, from the separator to the tank. The water goes to the water tank. And the well heads uh, right here. And there's your standing valve, your check valve, your flow valve, all your valves are right here. This crude oil from this is a 41 gravity crude oil. It's, it's a light, sweet crude. This is the tank battery for the 117.1 and the 117A well. The vertical separators are over there, your heater treaters. Then here's your oil tanks. Then there's your water tanks with the netting to protect your wildlife. And then this boot right here is where the tanker truck that picks up oil would load from to take oil out of the oil tanks. That's your cell line right there for a tanker, and there's your valve. And down there is a little small pump that is for injection. It puts the water down to the bee well for injection down the hill. This is the Snyder Seals lease. It's about 11 and a half miles south from uh, Baird where we were at the Snyder 117. This is the sales lease. And these wells here are in the Hope and Cook sand. These up higher here are in the Cook. It's about a 20 foot thick sand starting at 1420 to 1440. And these pump jacks, electrically powered. This one's running, you can see it running. And um, it's pumping oil. This is a heavier oil than over than by uh, the 117. This is about a 24 gravity oil. It's got some paraffin in it, but it's still good crude oil. This is a chemical tank for, for chemicals to help keep the paraffin moving. And this is well number 31. There's several wells up here on top that uh, we drilled into the cook and the hope sand. The separators are down there, and there's pump jacks there, there, and behind you. So this is up on top with Cook Sand. And all of these are Cook Sand and Hope Formation, depth ranging from 1420 to 1503. Most of them are 1420 to 1460 feet in depth. This is a cross plains well owned by Quail uh, Well Servicing. This well is under 2,000 foot deep. It's making oil and it's a water drive so it has salt water with it. 
Um, this area here is on 211, section 211 of our 950 acre lease. You can see it is pr productive. And the uh, stuffing box right here is showing salt buildup from the wind. That means the pumper needs to tighten the stuffing box. That salt water is coming out, but it keeps the polish rod lubricated. And um, this, this well has been here um, quite a few years and it's still producing. And uh, we're allowed to drill on this side. Anything below 2,000 feet would belong to us. But this shows that there is an oil formation here. And usually oil formations are stacked. They're shallow, a little deeper, a little deeper. Now they're not perfectly in order. They're moved a little bit, but they're still a stacked uh, carbonate reservoirs. And that's what this is. This is the cross plane sand. It should be between 1780 and 18, uh, 60 foot deep uh, in this area, depending on which way the trend is running and the structures running in the ground. Uh, we're, like I say, we're allowed to drill the Caddo, the Canyon, the Conglomerate, the Mississippian, the Ellenberger in this area. We have those deeper rights. Anything below 2,000 feet. And this is, a, like I say, a cross plane sand well. And um, you can see it has salt water because the salt is building up on this right here. They could probably tighten that stuffing box right there a little bit, but that's the pumper's job. I don't own this, own this well, so I'm not allowed to make any adjustments. Uh, if, myself, personally, I would drill in this area and go down deeper and then case off the cross planes. And then if we want to, we can make a deal with them about producing their level. You can produce two levels out of a well. You could have a dual completion. And that's, that's on, like I say, this is section 211 on the Snyder lease. And this is on the Quail Hollow, uh, the, the Quail Well Services uh, production right here at this well. This is the corner of uh, 211, and the edge of 210. You're nine and a half miles uh, west of Cross Plains, Texas, and about 16 miles uh, as the crow flies from Baird, Texas. This area here would be a, a very strong play for the Cross Plains sand at 1830 to 1850, and then Deeper would be the Caddo, the Conglomerate, Mississippian, and, and the Ellenberger. I would stake a well back out here for that depth. We can, we have a total area of 950 acres between 211 and 210, that's section numbers. We can drill, um, as far as we want to, as far as depth-wise, spacing-wise, you're on 40-acre uh, spacing. So, uh, if you're shallow, it's 20-acre spacing. And I would take it somewhere out in here and make my well out in here. I would stake a well. You're, you're on top of the bend arch here which is a high spot and it starts outside of Dallas and Fort Worth and runs this way. The Ellenberger here would be no 4,000 feet, 4,010. Uh, the Ellenberger in other areas would be six or 8,000 feet. Like I said, this is an arch. Everything is up and um, it's a very good prospect to drill. It's, it's leased for the idea of drilling and development. We've made pictures of other developments of oil I found in Texas. And um, this is 950 acres plus or minus. And the shallow would be cross plains. On 210, we own the cross plain rights. All the way to basement we own. On 211, we own the deep rights from 2,000 feet or deeper.
And there's lots of indication by the fossils and the surface material that this is good hunting area.